Stan Lee's impact spans decades. Think about it. Characters he helped create half a century ago are the stars of movies that today dominate the box office, each making hundreds of millions of dollars. Lee died Monday at the age of 95 and until the very end served as Marvel's chairman emeritus. Today, Marvel's superhero universe can be seen rumbling through movie theaters across the planet, a world rooted in comic books that were guided by Stan Lee. I almost felt guilty because most people don't really like to go to work. They can't wait till they get a vacation. I loved going to work. When he was a teenager, Lee was hired as a gopher at a publishing company that eventually morphed into Marvel. It became a comic book powerhouse in the 60s during the medium Silver Age. So I felt, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to make the kind of books that parents not only won't mind their children reading, but would want their children to read. As a writer and art director, Lee helped spawn a long list of fabled superheroes. Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, Fantastic Four, X-Men, Iron Man, and more. For all of their powers, Lee's superheroes were complex and insecure. In a word, human. Take the Hulk, who had a bit of a temper. And one of the reasons that most of our characters are so popular, because they're really not perfect. They're good at what they do, but they have the same flaws as you and I. Lee eventually became Marvel's publisher and always remained its most tireless promoter. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted. Over the years, he made several quick cameos in Marvel movies, some subtle. Security ought to be beefed up a lot more in a place like this. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. Others, not so much. Wow, nice suit. Zip it, Stan Lee! Many stars from those movies are now paying tribute. Captain America actor Chris Evans says there will never be another Stan Lee. From Wolverine Hugh Jackman, we've lost a creative genius. Lee's later years were more tumultuous with legal disputes and reports of infighting among family and advisors. But his towering legacy endures, making Lee a marvel in his own right. Hard to believe, but Stan Lee was once embarrassed to be a comic book writer, but he began to realize entertainment was important because he said it kept people from going off the deep end, so he felt he was doing a good thing. Back to you guys. Uh, yeah. Joe Fire Force in L.A. Thanks, Joe. Oh, you, yeah. you got to interview yeah. him, didn't you? Just a childhood idol. Yeah. In fact, Mark Hamill uh, basically crystallized what I was thinking. Uh, basically, he, Mark Hamill tweeted out, uh, they say, don't meet you. He says, never. I'm, I, oh, I can see it there. He says, oh, it's a different. It was a different quote. But oh. he actually said, never worry. The should people never, tell you you should never meet your childhood, childhood idol. idol. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the fact is, wrong. meeting it, you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah, he was everything you wanted mm. him to be. And he elevated the comic book lexicon. You know, Changed it. He was a great writer. He was a terrific writer. He didn't talk down to his readers. And that was what was so And special. his characters were complex and interesting. Yeah. 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 Who's your favorite? I love Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, he was a teenager. He had teenage angst, all these things. He was yeah. worried about, you know, was he going to get Mary Jane? Was he going to get his homework done? Uh, I had those same worries, <laughs> except for the Mary Jane part and, and, and webs shooting out of my wrist. Other than that, we were exactly the same. In the words of Stan Lee, Excelsior! All right.